Guess who in they new apartment? It's me, 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 me. Ah. Hey y'all, so today we are gonna be doing an empty apartment tour. Obviously it's gonna be very echoey in here because there's literally nothing in here. But I first want to say, how dare it start raining after I did my hair? Literally, I stepped outside and it was raining. Well, doing that misty kind of rain, but now my hair looked like this. Hate that for me. I just let her be. But look, I want to give a disclaimer, right? Because throughout this video, I'm going to be acting like I ain't never had nothing because simply put, I ain't never had nothing. Okay? Like, I've never lived... And it sounds sad to say, but I've never lived in like a nice place. I'll put like a timestamp somewhere up here if you want to just skip straight to like the apartment tour. But like, I just want to talk a little bit about that because as I'm showing this apartment, like it might not seem like much of a big deal to you, but to me, okay, it's a very big deal. I've never lived somewhere nice. I feel like that sounds so sad. <laughs> But the reality of the situation is I haven't. Like, I grew up, like, poor. Like, for real, for real. Like, poor, poor. Like, at points, I lived in shelters. Like, my grandmother did the best she could. And shouts out to her because she's the GOAT. Okay? But Tom's was hoard. Okay? So, when I say, like, I grew up in the hood or I was poor, I'm not being dramatic. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> like, we didn't have any money. <laughs> so, like, as I'm looking around and just being like, wow, like, this is, like... I love this place like I'm really excited so I might be like tripping out over like stuff that seems small but like for me it's a big deal quick little backstory like I moved out um, on my own when I was 19 years old and I lived in me and my best friend moved out together we both was like going through stuff in our like where we was living at so we moved out together um, we stayed together like in our apartment for like a year and some change and then we separated and then the apartment that I live in now, I lived in for almost 10 years, <laughs> okay? Almost 10 years I lived into that apartment and it's because I'm just like a creature of habit and I have like some childhood trauma that like from my lack of stability makes me like really, really, really like want stability even like to the point that it kind of crippled me and made me scared to like take chances. Um, but that's a story for another day. But um, I lived in that apartment for a very long time, way too long. I should have been left. I was not happy there. That's the same apartment where I contemplated suicide. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that apartment just was very dark. But on the same tip, I met my husband while I was living there. We fell in love and, like, all of that stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's now, like, what was our apartment that we shared together and lived there together. So, it's just, like... You know, it's it's some like good things, but like the main thing is like that apartment was very just it was representative of a very dark space for me because like I said, that is the same space where I contemplated the least messy way to off myself. Like you know what I'm saying? So like it just was like a very dark place and figuratively and literally, because it was really no natural light that came in it. It was just it just girl no. Um, so I just, I should have left long ago, but I'm just in a new stage in my life where I want to take chances. I'm ready to like try new things. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm jumping out. I would say all in, but it's like, I've been all in. Now I'm jumping out of being all in to one thing and just trying things. And if they don't work, then it's like, that's okay. Then you can try something else. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, that portion is a story for another day, but I'm excited for like, the the creative things that I can do I'm excited to be creative I already had so many video ideas and just content wise like reels and like stuff like that because y'all know I'm trying to like grow my Instagram too like so I just was before I even like got the keys I was like okay I already know like it was just my creative juices started flowing and it's like imagine once I'm actually living in here like how I'll be able to really cultivate my creativity and I just cannot wait to occupy this space and really like live in here yeah that was like a very long intro but without further ado let's get into the empty apartment tour 
Hey girl, I see like you skipped ahead. I know you did, you shady, but that's okay. You don't gotta, you know, if you don't wanna listen to me talk, you don't gotta listen to me talk, that's cool. Okay, so right here is like the front entryway. Well, not entryway, but here is the front door. It has like the key fob um, entry thing. Yeah, I think that's really cool. I've never lived anywhere where you had to use a key fob for anything. So to live somewhere where it's a key fob for everything is really cool to me. Um, but yeah, so this is like the front door situation. The other side of that is, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I think we'll start with the kitchen. This is like the laundry room. I think we'll start with the kitchen. This is what the kitchen looks like. Y'all know like nude is like my favorite color, like nude, brown, any kind of like earthy tone colors, chef's kiss, I love. So I love like the color of the cabinets. I love the just all white backsplash. It just looks really, really pretty. That candle, my sister actually gave me that candle for Christmas last year and I never used it because I was like that's gonna go in the new spot like obviously I mean I wanted the new spot to be a house but you know baby steps we gonna get there um but yeah so like literally I've never burned it I've never used it it's so beautiful and I was like it has to be in a beautiful space so I literally brung that over when we got our keys because I can't wait to burn it but oh, the electric stove microwave fridge dishwasher i've never lived somewhere that had a dishwasher so i love that i've actually never even used a dishwasher <laughs> so that's gonna be fun like trying to figure out how to work this and stuff because i've never used one like ever very cute like what do you do like how do you use this i'm gonna have to like watch some youtube videos <laughs> to figure out like, how you use a dishwasher <laughs> But um, yeah, the sink and everything. And I love too, the little like faux island situation. I don't even know what you call this, but like the countertops where like, it's kind of like an island, but it's connected to the wall. I love that because this apartment is not that big. So like it will help to like eliminate the need for like a actual table. So I love that. We're gonna get some bar stools to go over there. Can't wait for that. It has like dimmable lights too, which is pretty cool. Dimmable light action, like come on here. Yeah, so then this is the living room area. Couch is gonna be here, like kind of like centered. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna put the mirror on that wall or on this wall, but then like a rug, nice big fluffy rug, coffee table, TV stand, TV. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna put the mirror here in like a plant, maybe like a little poof or over here. And then like, I wanna do like a DIY like painting that I've seen. Like I just think it will help to tie in like all of the colors that I wanna have in here. Here's another angle of the living room and like the little kitchen island area. And one more angle. Now we are back by the front door and we're gonna go into the laundry closet. Here is like the laundry closet, which like these washer and dryers are, well, this washer and dryer is so big. Like it's like low key super sized or something. And it's really cool cause it's like a smart washer and dryer. So like they say like you could like hook your phone up to it and like all of that kind of stuff. So I think that's really, really cool. And I've never like, again, I've never had an apartment where like there's a washer and a dryer in the unit. like. I mean, come on. Directly across from the uh, laundry closet is like a just like coat closet, which is probably gonna be used to store my inventory and my filming equipment. Like obviously if people come over, we could still like hang coats, but like as far as like the floor space and like up top, like it's gonna be like my inventory and um filming equipment in here then directly across from like the laundry closet area i mean 
what? Directly across from the coat closet. I'm hungry, y'all. I ain't eat yet today and it's six o'clock. Directly across from the coat closet <laughs> at the front door is the bathroom. This bathroom is pretty big. So here's just an overview of what she looks like. I love the storage in here. Like, and also, also too, let me just say, I love that there's like, like a couple of closets in here. Cause in my current apartment, there is no closet space. But yeah, here is the shower. I don't know like how a shower curtain will fall with this like hook situation, but we shall see. I love like the 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 storage in here. It's just like storage for days, and we love the soft clothes. Stand that. I literally just threw on whatever because I'm like I need to hurry up and get over there. I just had just finished my hair filming a video. I'm like I need to get over there film that apartment tour and I still gotta go take care of my grandma right after this and I still ain't eat. So girl it's been a day but yeah this mirror is huge very big mirror. So then you come out the bathroom you go back past the kitchen past the living room and then here is our bedroom so what we're gonna do is put the bed in the center, probably like a end table on that side. And then like this little corner will be like where we put a mirror and like a little rug, a plant, a little chair. Like basically my little film area, I gotta like carve out some space in here for like my little film area. Cause like I said, like this apartment is not that big. So we have to be like strategic where we place a lot of stuff but bed will definitely go in the center night table on one side and then a little uh mirror slash like filming area over here over here directly across from where the bed will be there will be like some sort of something i don't know if it's going to be a dresser or just like a tv stand we don't know 100 percent yet because like i said we got to be strategic because we don't want it to feel super tight and cramped but the TV will go, whatever the TV will go on, will go right here. And then the TV will go on top of it. This is my closet. Which, it's a nice size closet. It's definitely bigger than like any closet that I've ever had. So I'm not complaining. But yeah, this is my closet. Rob actually, I didn't even have to like ask him like, oh, can I please get the bigger closet? He was like, this will be your closet and then I'll take the little closet. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? That's love. Um. So yeah, this will be Rob's closet. Which is fitting because I feel like he don't even really have like stuff. Like he don't really have a lot of stuff. So this will be Rob's closet. He'll be able to fit like all of his stuff in here like with no problem. So yeah, that's gonna be Rob's closet. The amenities are really, really dope. They have like a indoor lounge with like a pool table, um, a stove, like a, like a full blown kitchen. Like they got games, they got like, it's just real nice and it is very spacious too. They also have like a business center like where you could go and like get work done and stuff like that. They have like computers in there and stuff. Well, laptops, <laughs> talking about computers. <laughs> they got laptops in it and stuff. And um, they have an outdoor rooftop uh, lounge too, which is really dope. They got fire pits out there. What else they got? They got um, a package room, which I did not have. I didn't have any of this stuff ever. Um, but yeah, so they have a package room. They have a gym. Um, what else? Oh, they got outdoor courtyard. Outdoor courtyard where they have like grilling stations where like it's grilling stations and sitting areas. So it's basically like a courtyard slash lounge situation because it's grilling stations and it's like tables and sitting areas for you to like by each grilling station to also eat and enjoy and be outside in the 
the greenery and the flowers and stuff is just really beautiful it just looks really really nice i know like this upcoming spring and summer is going to be lit okay but even like with it getting colder like us just being able to be like me and my husband we love pool and so just being able to go to the lounge and play pool and vibe out like smoke a little hookah like it's just going to be vibes on top of vibes on top of vibes so i really can't wait also to parking they have parking here y'all know like my last situation like I was getting parking tickets regularly because there was absolutely no parking. So I love that like it's parking here. They got parking spaces and they got like street parking. It's just buku parking. So I love, love, love that. So it's just a lot of things that I really love about like this building, you know, a new city. Like I'm excited about this. I really am. But I'm about to run down to the car and get the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna actually just like keep this flowing and put like the stuff that I got in the car, like where it belongs and then I'll close out the vlog. This is the stuff that we got so far. Cause we not taking nothing from our like old spot. We literally are only bringing the TVs, that's it. But we was at Ikea yesterday trying to find a couch and couldn't find a couch, but we got some other stuff. So these pillows are they felt so good they are the this name um they felt so good and then these glasses were just so pretty so had to get them um cutting board i want like all clear things in the in the bathroom and then i got this i don't know like what this is gonna be used for yet. Like, I don't know if I wanna put fruit in it or if I wanna put, um, like, put it on a table and put remotes in it. Like, I don't know yet. But I'm leaning towards, like, fruit because you always see, like, circular fruit bowls. So I think the square one will be like a cute twist. Got this little pot for this plant because I think it'll look cute somewhere in this kitchen because it's not like too like spiky it's like cute and full so this one goes somewhere in this kitchen i don't know yet i just thought these bowls were like super cute for like salad because i love being good homemade salad okay um i cannot even take myself serious look in the way i do <laughs> this is absurd but yeah i love me a good homemade salad so I thought these was like good salad bowls. Some champagne, okay, because we will be popping something. I don't even, I don't know if we'll pop this per se, but like I had it at home, so I figured I'd bring it. Cause I'm trying to figure out where like the little bar situation would go. I got it actually when I hit 20K, or no, when I hit 10K. I got this when I hit 10K and I never opened it because I had got sick, um, so. I just never opened it after that, but yeah, got some champagne, candles, listen, Ikea little candles be smelling so good, this one don't really smell that like good, it just is gonna go with like the color scheme, cause I want like cream, well yeah, beige, cream, those kind of tones, I might even add in like some brown or something, but like definitely, um, this just go with the color scheme, but this one smells real good. Garbage cans. These garbage cans was literally a dollar. So white one for the bathroom, black one for the bedroom. The little soap thing right there, garbage can right there or whatever. That's really it. I got put the champagne right here. Cause I think this is where like the bar stuff is gonna go. I think. And then, although like, I really feel like that stuff should be over here cause realistically, I would be cooking and preparing food like right here. Cause over here is just a little bit tighter to be like preparing food. But I feel like aesthetically, it looks better over there. And obviously fruits would be like in this little basket situation. But yeah, I'm about to go take care of my grandma. So yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this vlog in this apartment tour. I'm really excited for the content that I'm going to be able to create. And I hope that you will be along this journey with me because I really do want to start doing more like lifestyle content. Um, so I can't wait for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop it in the comments and let me know what you thought. Like, please drop it in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Show this video some love and some support. This is like 
a new beginning for me and i'm really excited about it so yeah drop down in the comments let me know what you thought give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not yet subscribed then i'll catch you on my next one enjoy the rest of your week your weekend whatever it may be peace and blessings